China, hopefully we will be getting a better glimpse of that down in Eugene. As long as the weather cooperates and we get that visibility, it's possible that the conditions could be like they are this afternoon, cloudy, overcast, a chance of rain. But should we get the opportunity to view the eclipse, experts say it's just really important to go about that safely. In August 2017, the solar eclipse's path of totality crossed several states, from Oregon, just south of Portland, all the way to South Carolina on the East Coast. So there's something kind of visceral about that, that realization that, oh yeah, the planets are moving and the, you know, the moon is moving. People traveled from all over to witness the astronomical event with, of course, safety glasses with a special solar filter. During totality in 2017, viewers could take off their protective shades, but this time around, experts say that's a no-go. This is a ring of fire eclipse, so the sun will not be completely occluded at any point during the eclipse. So it's really important to wear eye protection for the entire event. Dr. Kavita Bavsar, an ophthalmologist at the Casey Eye Institute, explains what can happen if you don't wear the right eye protection. The damage is usually instantaneous, but people may not notice damage to their vision until an hour or perhaps even later. But the things that you're looking out for is blind spots in your vision or any type of diminished vision, not feeling like you're seeing like you were before. So what can you expect when you look up at the sky. I grabbed very highly sophisticated props. Dr. Todd Duncan, an assistant professor of physics at Pacific University, demonstrates the difference between annularity we'll see this weekend and totality we saw back in 2017. You know, if this is the sun and this is the moon, the moon's farther away from you, then it doesn't cover as much of your field of view and you get, this would be a kind of an extreme annular, right, where you see the the annulus, the ring around. And then total is if the moon's closer, let's see if I can do it, right? Then it actually blocks out all of it. And again, you will see that ring of fire if you are in the path of annularity. Now in towns on the coast like Florence and Coos Bay, in Eugene, in Crater Lake National Park, we'll have a full list on KGW.com so you can know where to go to best see this eclipse. And travel experts actually told me today that this eclipse is getting a lot less buzz than the one back in 2017. So you might still be able to snag a hotel room for a last minute trip if that's something you're interested in doing.